Okay. Well, as we say in the broadcasting business, or as I used to say in the broadcasting business, take two. Let's try this again. Apparently, we had some sort of difficulty with our first broadcast. So if you saw that, you started, well, hang tough because we're going to repeat ourselves here. That would explain why there wasn't a lot of comments short of the YouTubers kicking in. So thank you guys for being here and being patient. Uh, so somehow, sometimes things go incorrect, but I think we have got it all straightened out and we are live. This is our this is our Super Bowl for crying out loud. I mean, our superb owl. <laughs> and here this goes. So welcome, everybody. Greetings from the wasteland and welcome to our Record Store Day Black Friday preview. Kim is my producer, keeping me on track and helping keep things in line tonight because I tend to wander. You know how that works, but I think we are good to go. Let's check the comments and see if we are here. And I think there's a few folks saying, Chuck, okay, hey again, we're back. Sorry about that, YouTubers, but uh, we are, yep, we are here live, and there is a Facebook comment. And hi from the hospital. Ooh, I hope us, everything's good there. We did it, Jeff. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dave. All right, guys, let's do this, and let's do this up right, shall we? We are going to cover our Black Friday releases coming up on day after tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, and things will go very well for you there. But very quickly, I'm not going to rehash the rules too much, but you all know how Black Friday and Record Store Day works. The releases cannot be reserved, held, sold early. You know the thing. So we get limited amounts of the releases, so it is first come, first serve. As well as the limited numbers, you are allowed to get one copy of each release. You can buy as many releases as you'd like, but only one copy, and that's to stop those those darn flippers. Those, get off those my kids. lawn. Get off, get off my lawn, flippers, and you know how it is again. All right. So our rules here are that one copy per release, as many releases as you want. And because it's worked so well for the drops that we had earlier in the year and in 2020, we're going to go with the number system again as well. So if you are the type that wants to sit outside overnight from Thursday night when you've got your fill of turkey and you're sitting all there nice and comfy, I will be here at 5 a.m. on Friday morning to pass out numbers. At 8 a.m. when the door is open, we will begin taking them in order and getting you guys through as quickly as we can through there. So we're going to dive right in because for those of you on Facebook, we had these issues. So I went through the first 15 records already. Those of you on YouTube, go get a snack. We'll be right back on this. So, okay. They're going to be slightly out of order, but what the heck? It's live. Okay. Let's start off with our seven inches that we'll have on hand. Oh, by the way, because of the super limited uh, nature of a lot of these releases, I need you to just assume that I've only got one copy of them unless we say there are more. Now, in many cases, I've got multiple copies, but for most of these, they're just going to be a single copy for the store. That's the way it rolls with this. Okay, right off the bat, we've got a Billie Eilish 7-inch, the No Time to Die. There's only a couple of these. Now, this may be something we can get later on down the line, but for Friday, we've only got two of those in the store. I'm going to cough up a lung here for a second. I'm, I'm okay, by the way. It's allergy season at the Wasteland. Pink Lincoln's 7-inch, uh, I Am a Genius. We'll have one of those in stock as well as the Pussifer, 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 uh, Flip and Smoke and Mirrors, 7-inch from those guys. Kind of a cool one from Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. This was a late ad, and it is a 7-inch called 40 by 40. One side is I Love Rock and Roll, and the other side is is Bad Reputation. Now, this was done in conjunction with a place called Z2 Comics, and this release has a graphic novel inside, a mini one, probably a seven-inch one. I hope they wouldn't fold it. Um, comic book, if you will. So we have got five of these, and this is a precursor to a larger release from Z2, uh, looking at Joan Jett's uh, earlier and bigger hits. So some cool, cool stuff from those guys. By the way, I see a lot of you commenting. That's cool. If you're commenting on YouTube, those comments go away after we end the live broadcast. If you're on Facebook, they'll be there, and I'll try to answer some of your comments a little bit later. But if you're on YouTube, feel free to come back after the fact and leave a comment, but only if you promise me that you're going to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like and share, and you know the thing. Okay, 
On to our box sets. We've got a Charlie Parker release, Bird in L.A. This is a 4LP set of some great, great Charlie Parker stuff. We've got two copies of this for Black Friday. And more great jazz from Art Pepper. Uh, the Promise Kept, the artist Artist's House Recordings. So this is four albums from Charlie Parker, including So In Love, Artworks, New York Album, and Stardust. And uh, this is a box set as well. Two copies of this good to go for Black Friday. Okay, onward to our LPs and to the uh, 12 inches as well. Here's some 12 inches. They're not all <coughs> not all LPs. Let's start off with Aerosmith. And you'll notice we're going alphabetical. Kim is rearranging them. Uh, this is The Road Starts Here. These are previously unreleased recordings from Aerosmith. They're early, early demos and their first known recording. So uh, some cool stuff from them. Dream On is on here, Walking the Dog, alternate versions, and uh, some really cool stuff. I think I've got about five or six of these good to go for Black Friday. Lots of requests for this one ahead of time, and this is All Them Witches live on the internet. A 3LP set, the recording of the band's only 2020 live performance, individually foil stamped and numbered, Triple LP on random colored vinyl. Uh, looks like there were 6,000 of them, and the batch we have looks like they're in the mid-2000s. So cool stuff, and I know some folks are looking for them. I think I've got three or four of these ready to go for Black Friday. Chet Baker, some cool jazz. Albert's House, two copies of this for Friday. One copy of Bee Gees, Three Kisses of Love. And this record, according to the hype sticker, it showcases... The best of the Gibb Brothers' early pop platters before they flipped into disco uh, era. And this is a numbered release also. We've got one copy of this to go out on Friday. And I'll tell you what, BG fans, I don't know if we can see that, but it's number 30 out of how many? I'm not certain, but that's a low number. Cool stuff to get. Lots of these. We'll have several copies of Big Brother and the Holding Company, Janis Joplin performing live at the Monterey International Pop Festival. Um, and this is on Monterey Purple Vinyl. I didn't know Monterey Purple was a color. Who knew? But uh, we've got several of these to go out for you fans. <coughs> One copy of Blackberry Smoke to go out on Friday, stoned. Uh, we have more of these coming next week. So if you miss out on this one, I think I've got some coming as a backup, but they won't be here in time for Friday. So we'll go from there. Really cool album of Stones covers. Uh, Blackberry Smoke performs seven of your favorite tracks by the Rolling Stones. Tumbling Dice, Can You Hear Me Knocking? Uh, Street Fighting Man, I Got the Blues. Some cool stuff from those guys as well. All right, I get a second shot at this. Rich Brian? Rich Brian, not Brian Rich. I'm not certain what this is. Uh, Amen is the name of the release, and I should have done some more research on it. Uh, but we've got one copy of that for Black Friday. Okay, now we can get into the meat of the stuff. Roy Buchanan, The Prophet, the unreleased first Polydor album, two LP set pressed on orange and black vinyl. I think there's only one copy of the Roy Buchanan going around for that. This one, there was a lot of requests for, and we only got two, only two copies of this. So we'll have to do what we can in this. This is the Canned Heat picture disc. Friends in the Can, kind of a cool looking picture disc. Um, I'm not certain why they rationed this one, but they did. But there may have been lesser numbers to go around. But that is going to be a tremendously, tremendously limited one. Oh, Zachary says uh, he had requested that. Amen. Yep, we did get one. Hopefully that'll last for you. Okay, um, House of Blues, Volume 7. More canned heat along this time, though, with Memphis Slim. So some really cool stuff on colored vinyl, original label art, but uh, on some colored vinyl. And I think there's about four or five of those to go around for you blues fans. And some blues-ish soul. Ray Charles, live in Stockholm, 1972, uh, the, with his orchestra and the Ray Letts. So performance in 1972, very first time on opaque gold vinyl. What I say is on here, Alexander's Ragtime Band. I can't stop loving you. I've got a woman. That's going to be a cool, cool record. Two of those to go out on Friday. Two of these as well. Something from Chief Keith Thoughtbreaker. Okay. 
a parental advisory. There's explicit lyrics on that lyrics on this. I know you couldn't guess from that, but a couple from Chief Keefe in there as well. Lots of folks looking for this one. Two copies to go out on Friday. Leonard Cohen, a reissue of Songs of Love and Hate, the 50th anniversary edition of this on um, white vinyl by the looks of it and includes a lyric book and a 12 by 12 book with lyrics. Cool stuff. If you're looking to, uh, if you're if you're too happy heading into the holiday season, listen to Leonard Cohen. That'll take care of that for you. Okay, uh, Larry Correll and his 11th house at Montro on split colored vinyl. I think there is one copy of this to go around. Two copies of Crowbot. I may have more of these coming in the week. This is Rat Child, uh, Record Store Day exclusive four track EP on bright green vinyl with an etching. So some cool stuff from Crowbot. And I think, as I said, there are two of those to go out on Friday. <clears throat> Okay. Another big one. Lots of folks requesting this, and I think we've got about six copies to go around. This is Miles Davis Live Evil, the legendary double LP. Live album turns 50 years old. 50th anniversary of this. Available on opaque teal vinyl. Original artwork on this, and I know that this is a highly sought-after OG vinyl. If you want to get the cool Record Store Day release, I think we've got about a half a dozen of these back there. Hopefully that'll make it through the morning rush for those of you who can't make it. One copy of Rob Dickinson, Fresh Wine for the Horses. Debut solo album from the lead singer from uh, for Catherine Wheel. Limited to 2,000 copies. So that one from Rob Dickinson. Tell you what, and I say this every record store day, but it wouldn't be record store day without your DO picture discs. It's almost a... It's a requisite somewhere. They've got it written into a contract. I wonder, maybe maybe Dio made some sort of deal with someone to make sure that the in perpetuity that these would be available in Record Store Day. Uh, a couple of records, a couple of deals though. We got Last in Line and Holy Diver. Really, kind of the the Dio albums that you want to have for them. Both of them are on picture disc, and I think we've got three copies of each. Uh, lots of these to go around. I might be able to get more of those in the weeks to come if there is a need. Three copies of the Dire Straits Encores, uh, the much-loved 1993 live, uh, L, uh, it's an EP, I'm sorry. Looks like it's on pink vinyl. So it's a four-song EP. Uh, not too familiar with this, but uh, some cool stuff for you Dire Straits fans. Another one that there was a lot of requests for, and we did get probably about six or seven of these from Evanescence. The 10th anniversary edition of their third studio album, um, on purple smoke vinyl, limited to 8,000 copies worldwide, self titled from Evanescence. And again, I think we've got probably five or six of those to go around. Looking for Fleetwood Mac, the alternate live. Now, last record store day, they put out the alternate rumors, which were the takes of different takes of the albums from rumors. So, how do you do an alternate live? Well, I did some reading on this, and it turns out that they're tracks from different stops around the tour that make up the Alive album that they originally did. So these were recorded in that time frame, just different venues, so they could be somewhat different performances. So a couple copies of this to go around for there. One copy of The Gun Club, live at the Starwood in 1981. Uh, the classic lineup on gold-colored vinyl. Again, that's the only copy of this we'll have for Friday, so plan yourself accordingly. A couple of copies from Hall & Oates, the Philly Tapes. Proper title of this, yeah, I guess it's just the Philly Tapes. Um, recorded in the throes of their Philadelphia folk rock phase during the late 60s. So this is early, early Hall & Oates, isn't it then? Well before their pop stuff. Look at them, how young they look in there. So two copies of this to go around on Friday. Uh, the John Hicks Trio, Is That So? It's one single copy of this to head out. Uh, rare Dutch recordings from 1990. Limited to 1,000 copies comes with liner notes. So that'll be a rare one as well, coming in at 40 bucks on there. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of folks looking for this. And here is a fun one in the picture disc side. It's Iron Maiden's self-titled 40th anniversary um, crystal clear picture disc vinyl. So... Apparently, you can see through most of it, but it's kind of a cool-looking picture disc. 
from Iron Maiden. And I think that there is probably five or six copies of this. So we should be in decent shape with that one. Single copy of Chris Isaac, Beyond the Sun. Limited 10th anniversary of the Sun Records edition. Don't know if there's anything else special about that, but some Chris Isaac. Okay, and this one, I know a lot of folks were looking for this as well. And hopefully you can. This is the Jason Isbell and the 400 unit Georgia Blue. Exclusive translucent blue vinyl. Should be really cool. And I think there's four copies of this back there. So we should have a decent amount to get you through double LP. But those of you looking for Jason Isbell, we got it. Two copies of the Judas Priest, the best of, a greatest hits, long out of print, an exclusive embossed cover. And if you can't tell what that is, that means that this is really kind of a raised embossing on the front cover. And it's got a double LP. Nope. Yeah, it is a double LP. Okay, now hold on here. This is interesting because I think the original was a single. The first three sides are Judas Priest hits. Side four is interviews. Nothing but interviews on side four. So look that one up. If you've, uh, you're a Priest fan, you might want to dig it. But the cover itself is worth that. It's really, really, really cool. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna knock this name out of the park on my first try. Right, Kim? Yorma Kaukinen. I lived in the UP for a long time, so I think I can safely say that, right? Yorma Kaukinen. This is an album called Christmas on Green Vinyl. Yorma, we read it was Jefferson Airplane alum as well as Hot Tuna, I think we saw in there. So some cool stuff from Yorma. Yorma. Am I getting that? I'm just going to say that all night. Yorma Kokonen. He's friends with Aino and Toivo, eh? Uh, it's a, I'll stop. I, I'm, I'm tired. It's been a long week. Let's finish. I'll finish. Okay. Never before released on vinyl, only 2,500 worldwide. Christmas. Okay. This is what's interesting. There are two editions to this. There's a Christmas tree edition and a... I think it's a white vinyl one. So two different copies, one of each of this. But because it's the same title, you're only allowed to get one. You'll just have to choose between green and the other one. Okay. A lot of folks looking for this as well. Carol King, live at the BBC in 1971. So some classic Carol King recordings. I feel the earth move. You make me feel like a natural woman. It's too late and so far away. Featuring James Taylor on this. Uh, arrangements with old records and unreleased recordings from the 1971 BBC live performance. Single album on that. A lot of folks looking for this as well. King's X. Uh, Zvart. Uh, please come home, Mr. Mulbus. Uh, I'm not a big, big, uh, oh, so Zvart Records. I see there we got it. King's X. <laughs> please come home. First time on Sun Yellow Vinyl. Two copies of this to go around, folks. So that's going to be a quick mover, is my guess. One copy of John Legend, once again, uh, gold vinyl, 15th anniversary, RSD edition of that. Now, here's a good one. Known primarily just for this one song, very uplifting song, Barry McGuire, uh, Eve of Destruction. First time this has been reissued on vinyl in more than 40 years. So, of course, it's got Eve of Destruction, but there's a lot of other cool folk music on here from folk rock, I'll say on here through uh, from Barry McGuire, including uh, covering, oh, he covers Sloop John B on here and Baby Blue from Dylan. Um, Tom Jones, try to remember. So a lot of cool stuff. This is on uh, colored vinyl. I can't remember what color it says it's on here. I think it's uh, clear, but it's 1,000 copies, limited edition for the eve of this. Okay. Mob Deep, Free Agencies, Volume 1, and I think we've only got the one copy of this. It is the um, music from the Murda mixtape pressed on clear smoky vinyl, so get that way you can. Uh, Modern English, After the Snow, some great cool 80s alternative. Uh, this was recorded in September of 2020, so it's newer stuff from the 80s group. This is the only official live recording by the band. Official live recording by the band. So there's some cool stuff. I Melt With You After the Snow is on here. Face of the Woods. So it's a newer recording um, from this classic band. I think we've got four or five copies of that one ready to go on Friday. Motorhead, 
The Lost Tapes Live in Madrid, double LP on red vinyl, two copies of Motorhead to kick us out the door on Black Friday. And here's another Mr. Big one. See what I did there? Record Store Dad Jokes, RSD. Mr. Big, lean into it. The 30th anniversary, 5,000 copies on solid red vinyl. And I think that we have got five copies of this. More than one, but there are five copies of that uh, to go out on Black Friday. You 80s uh, hairband fans. Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, and Ray Price. Big hits live from the Last of the Breed tour. Featuring folks from Asleep at the Wheel and the Cherokee Cowboys. It is a newer recording. I'm not certain when that was recorded, though, but it is a little bit newer. And I think I've got three copies of this good to go as well. <clears throat> okay, more on the picture disc front. And uh, here's an interesting one. A couple of weeks back, the record labels screwed us over when they released. I'm sorry, did I say that? The record labels had a production delay when they released Ozzy's reissue of No More Tears because I think that they knew that the picture disc was coming out. So that, oops, we scheduled these wrong. So anyhow, we've got an Ozzy Osbourne. I think there are three of these to go out. Um, the No More Tears picture disc, still kind of cool looking. Good to go on Black Friday. Trippy Red, limited edition. Uh, a love letter to you and a love letter to you, volume two. So some stuff from Trippy Red, and uh, I don't know if that's an exclusive or not, or just there. So Christmas music on RSD from the Reverend Horton Heat, We Three Kings, Christmas favorites. Some good, um, oh, I'm going to say uh, Rockabilly-ish from Reverend Horton Heat. Some cool stuff there singing. It's a full album of Christmas music, one copy of that to go out, as well as the 40th anniversary reissue of Todd Rudgren's Healing, limited edition of 5,000 on clear vinyl. Just one of those to go. RZA. RZA, thank you. Uh, Bobby Digital, Digital Bullet, RZA, back in print after two decades uh, from Wu-Tang Clan, pressed on limited edition yellow vinyl, single copy on Friday. Same thing with this. I think we put in for a lot of these and only got the one from Saigon Kick uh, on... A reptilian green marble vinyl. And that's why we only got one. It's limited to 2,500 copies. Okay, the Shangri-Las, the best of Redbird and Mercury recordings, double LP set, a definitive Shangri-Las greatest hits collection. Uh, includes a four-page insert, uh, clear with black swirl, tailpipe exhaust vinyl. <laughs> so, all right, some cool girl rock from Shangri-Las there. Is that light? Tailpipe exhaust, or is it dark when dark, it's burning okay. oil? Is it? Yeah, because you you've got engine problems, tailpipe exhaust with a leak. Uh, this is another Christmas album for Record Store Day, the 25th day of December by the Staples Singers, uh, featuring cherished traditional spirituals, Joy of the World, Go Tell It on the Mountain, and more. It's an all analog master, um, pressed on 180 gram vinyl. So some real cool. Stuff, uh, Christmas stuff from the Staples Singers. One copy of that. All right, a lot of folks looking for this, and this is going to be a hot one. The Stray Cats live at Rock Palast. This is a music on vinyl release. So A, it's a little pricey. B, it's going to sound phenomenal. And C, it's tremendously limited and tough to get. Double, triple LP coming in at 50 bucks for music on vinyl. Uh, these are numbered as well. It looks like we've got in the 3,000 range on this copy at least. Two copies to go out on Black Friday from the Stray Cats. So this is going to be a tough one to get, I think. Joe Strummer from The Clash. Um, Johnny Appleseed. This is an EP or a single. Looks like it's uh, Joe Strummer. Yep, at the Border Guy. Uh, I really should have read more on this. 12-inch uh, single. From the classic album Global A Go Go, limited edition pink vinyl from the Clash alum. I don't know anything about this. Uh, Dave Van Ronk, someone I think had requested this. Hear Me Howl live in 1964. So we do have one copy of uh, Dave Van Ronk. Good to go. And finally, coming up on the tail end of this here, we've got a couple of various artist albums. 
This is a fun one. One single copy to go on. This is the Americana Railroad, 19 newly recorded railroad songs from artists like John Fogarty, Dave Allen, Peter Case, and more. And these appear to be, well, songs about the railroad. Um, kind of a neat little collection. So we see Gary Mernick, uh, Train Captain Roland, um, Alice Howe, Peter Case, as I mentioned, Rocky Burnett. Oh, who else is on here? John Fogarty doing the City of New Orleans. That's a cool cover. Uh, Brian Ray, Mystery Train by James. And was... No other names I recognize, but there's going to be some cool Americana stuff on this double LP. One copy of that to go out on Black Friday. And finally, for you Wes Anderson fans, we get down to the original soundtrack for The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. You're going to be in the right frame of mind. But Wes Anderson does put out some great, great soundtrack albums available for the first time on vinyl, sea blue colored vinyl. David Bowie is on here, Devo, Joan Baez, Iggy and the Stooges, The Zombies, and another one from Bowie. Very sought after. It went very quickly. We have got three copies to go around, if I remember right back there. So two or three. I'd have to go and see what we got. But that's going to be another fast mover for you fans of Wes Anderson, Bill Murray, and or cool movie soundtracks. Okay. Ah. Uh, I got it through that very quickly, considering the uh, hiccups at the beginning. And let's see here. We have a question from Chad. Will there be complimentary fruitcake on Friday? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, is what I'm told. <laughs> it's a BYOFC. <laughs> Bring your own BYOFDFC. Bring your own damn fruitcake. Uh, we will have coffee, though, hopefully. So we're going to have some coffee ready to go for you folks to come in. And... Um, we will have some fun, as always. Don't forget the rules if you're camping out overnight from Thursday to Friday. Stay warm, number one, and be, I'll be here at 5 a.m. to pass out the numbers as we had spoke about uh, prior to that. So looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. And I got to get one other plug in. Friday is typically a new release day. There are very few new releases coming in on Friday. Um, I've got a few. I just was so busy today. I didn't even get to them. So we will kind of uh, weed those in as we can to tell you about them. But there will be no vintage drop video or new drop video on Friday because it is Black Friday. But Small Business Saturday here at the Wasteland, I think I have teased this enough. There will be a vinyl drop video and a vinyl drop happening Saturday when we open our doors at 10 a.m. See what I did there? I'm trying to get you guys to come back and visit us two days in a row. But I can tell you that Saturday's vinyl drop, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be really good. So now the question, I'm going to put Kim in the spot here. I'm thinking that the video, the drop video is going to hit on Friday night after we close. But here's the catch. Normally when we put a drop video out on Friday mornings, I'll take phone calls and messages to reserve items. We're not going to do that this time until after the rush on Saturday morning gets through. So if you see something in the video, you're going to have to come get it. But I'll put the video up on Friday night so you've got a chance to digest it as if it were large amounts of turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes. Leftovers. Leftovers at that point for your Saturday morning. So doors will open on Small Business Saturday at 10 a.m. And yes, I will do a Saturday morning live just prior to that. But I'm telling you, folks, you're probably not going to want to miss the drop video and or the vinyl drop on Friday. But again, I apologize. No reserves on that one on Friday night, simply because of the nature of it and because of how busy we're going to be on Saturday morning as well. That being said, yeah, Jeff Cart says, see you Friday and we'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so stay safe and warm and you guys, too. Thank you, Jeff, for that. And we'll see you again on Saturday. All right. We wish you guys the very, very best of this holiday season kickoff. And uh, hopefully you'll have an enjoyable and safe Thanksgiving. And we will see you on Black Friday, two days from now at, well, some of you all see at 5 a.m. But we'll see the rest of you when the doors open at 8 a.m. on Black Friday. Until then, from all of us to you guys, you have a great, great holiday season, great Thanksgiving. And we will talk to you on Friday from the Wasteland. Thank you very much for being here.